All right, before we start this video, I just want to start it out by saying that I am not a welder. I just play one on TV. Ha! <clears throat> Anyways, um, I don't have any formal training. Well, I guess I do a little bit. It was about three months while I was at school in Wyoming, but it wasn't for any kind of a certification or anything like that. So I'm pretty much a glorified hobbyist welder. So I've owned this welder for six months now, actually. Um, and I've used it on several projects, uh, one being the cart it sits on. And that was actually the first project I ever did with this. This is a great machine for its price and its options and its ability. This, you can't beat it. This is the Hobart Handler 210 NVP. MVP stands for multi-voltage plug, which this welder can do 115 welding and 230 welding, which is great because you can go from anywhere from 3 8 thick steel all the way down to your thinnest sheet metal. I don't do a lot of sheet metal and uh, really what I'd be using this for is basically you know, like quarter inch thick stuff and uh, you know, some eighth inch thick. I did a project with this uh, welder on my uh, Jeep Cherokee. When I did that bumper for my Jeep, that really tested its duty cycle. And this welder, I think, I think its duty cycle is like 30% on 230 volt, um, which is great. You know, that gives you plenty of time to weld on uh, pretty much everything. It does struggle at the, uh, you know, the outer limits of what it says it's capable of. Like if you try to weld some 3 8 plate with this, it would struggle with it. And I've noticed that the, uh, the settings, when you switch over to 115 volt, it struggles there also, you know, welding eighth inch plate, which it says it can do, but I, I don't know if I believe it. I haven't been able to get it to weld that great. All in all, I love the machine. It's great. You can't beat it. You I mean, you could go and buy the Miller version of this. All you're getting with that welder is just a higher price tag and a different name on it, really. So some options that this thing has is you can actually use this welder with a spool gun. And it's actually got a plug on the front of it to where you could plug that in and use a spool gun for, you know, welding up aluminum panels and stuff. I haven't tried that. Um, I don't know if I'd ever would use it actually, but you never know. I've always, you got the option with this thing. <clears throat> that's what I like about it. it, it is, really versatile. I think the, the next size down uh, Hobart is uh, 190 and uh, it doesn't seem like it, it's that versatile. You only get 230 volt. I was going to get the 190 just the simple fact that it's you know $200 cheaper and I honestly didn't think I'd ever use the 115 volt settings on it. But I actually watched a uh, YouTube series uh, on uh, Jody Collier's channel. I'll leave a link to his channel up here. Great stuff. Dude knows a lot about welding. He's got a welding basics series that he did with this welder. And that's actually where I decided I wanted to spend the extra $200 to get this machine over the 190 amp machine. All right, so enough talking. Let's do some welding with this machine.
Just got a T-joint set up here. Four inches wide, quarter inch thick, top and bottom. I got all the mill scale ground off. Get a nice bright metal. So we're just gonna run a bead right here. And got my Jody set up. Got an auto darkening lens with a camcorder. That's gonna show us what we're doing right here. All right, let's make sparks. That went pretty well. That was quarter inch steel on a 230 volt. Uh, it does pretty well with that. I haven't really tried 3 8 but it seems like this is close to about as thick as you want to go. But uh, as far as uh, settings, I'm just running the recommended settings, which is uh, the tap number six and 60. 60 for the wire speed. I don't know what those equate to, but uh, it seems to work for me. So I think I'll try and find some sheet metal see if I can't weld on 115 volts. Show, show you guys what this thing welds like on 115 volt. Found some uh, 16 gauge sheet metal. Uh, it's pretty thick compared to what this machine can actually do. I think it can go down to 24 gauge, but this is really all I got. So we're gonna run a little bead on here. The uh, machine setup is a uh, six, and roughly 30. We are on the 115 volt now. Let's make some welds. Great. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's the Hobart Handler 210 NVP. Uh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody with a home shop who doesn't have a welder. I mean, it's you can't beat it for the price and the versatility. It's my number one pick. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.